If you are looking for an Arc Hunter build that will allow you to destroy anyone you come up against in PvP, then I got you covered. With this build, you will be able to constantly become amplified, which will allow you to be super aggressive. And on top of that, we have access to infinite abilities. I know, I know. It sounds too good to be true, but trust me, it's not. You will literally be able to use your dodge, powered melee, and grenade an insane amount of times per game, allowing you to dominate your opponents. So if that sounds interesting to you, then perfect, because in this video, I will go over the exotics, aspects, fragments, abilities, and armor mods that come together to make this build truly fun and effective. And of course, if you enjoyed this video at any time and decide to try out the build, make sure to leave a like and a comment to support the channel. And also, all you lovely people should consider subscribing because we're almost at 5,000 subscribers at the time of recording this video, which is truly amazing to me. But that's enough rambling, let's hop straight into the loadout. Starting with my weapon combo, what I've decided to run for this build has been some of the most fun I've had in Crucible in a long time. In the kinetic slot, we have the exotic sidearm, known as the Traveler's Chosen, and after using this weapon for a decent amount of time, I'm honestly surprised on how slept on it is. This 300 RPM sidearm is a stat monster, sitting at 85 range, 70 stability, and 84 handling, which is insane for a sidearm. Looking at its intrinsic trait, it's known as Gathering Light. Final blows of this weapon grant stacks of Gathering Light, and these stacks are able to be consumed to grant us melee, grenade, and class ability energy based on however many stacks we have saved up at the time of activating it. So to put it in perspective, each Guardian kill gives two stacks, so if we were to use it right then with only two stacks, it would only be granted about 10% ability energy. With a 1 minute and 40 second cooldown timer for reference, then testing it all the way up to 8 to 10 stacks, you're seeing about 70 to 80% ability energy being granted. And on top of that, for every Gathering Light stack we have on our weapon, we are granted bonus reload, handling, and target acquisition, so definitely an extremely useful exotic perk to have for PvP due to all the bonuses it provides. And also, if you obtain the Catalyst, for every fully charged ability, you have increased handling, reload speed, and stability, which is pretty cool. Then, for my energy slot, I chose to use a grenade launcher, more specifically, the explosive personality. Some great perks you want to look for in a grenade launcher would be Genesis and Disruption Break, because they both proc anytime we destroy an enemy's shield, but you could definitely use whichever type of special ammo you want. I've just been having a blast using a grenade launcher with Traveler's Chosen. It's easy to swap to, and grenade launchers are such quick damage. It's really easy to secure kills and kill a lot of groups of enemies. So if you have a fire grenade launcher role, it definitely tried out with this build. That's all for my weapons. Looking at the exotic armor piece you want to be running for this build, I personally prefer to use Wormrust Crown just because of the fact that we get our dodge back so quickly. That free extra health we get anytime we do our dodge is super helpful in a lot of PvP situations. I know a lot of people talk on that exotic, but it's so useful and people are just going to have to stay mad because it's one of the only things us hunters got. But of course, you could throw on some stompies as well. There are really just no great arc specific exotics right now, so any generic hunter exotic will always work. Now hopping into my subclass, starting with my abilities. For my class ability, I like to use Gambler's Dodge. Just so whenever I dodge near an enemy, it fully recharges my melee ability. Always super overpowered in my opinion. Strafe jump for my movement ability for more directional control. For my arc melee, I'm using disorienting blows. So anytime I punch a target with my fully charged melee, it blinds them and also amplifies us, which is amazing for us. Especially with how often we're able to get this melee fully charged due to our gambler's dodge. And then for my grenade, I choose to use flashbang grenade just to apply more blind effects to my targets. And then moving on to our aspects, the first one we have is Tempest Strike. While sliding, activate your charged melee ability to unleash a devastating uppercut attack that travels along the ground in front of you, damaging and jolting targets hit by it. It's a great ability for certain situations when you know someone's going to push you, or if you want to start a fight with it, you can shoot that beam at them, get them under half health, and it's an easy kill from there, especially with your grenade launcher and travelers chosen. They'll basically be dead in one to two hits. And then for our second aspect, we have flow state. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. While you are amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly and you are more resilient when dodging and your reload speed is greatly increased. And to top all this off, for our first fragment, we have one called Spark of Shock. Our arc grenades jolt targets. So anytime we throw our flash brain grenade, we're going to blind targets and also jolt them. And anytime we kill anybody affected by those debuffs, we will become amplified, which is perfect for us. And then for our second fragment, we have Spark of Instinct. While critically wounded, taking damage emits a burst of damaging arc energy that jolts targets, meaning that we now have three different ways to jolt targets, meaning we have three more ways to become amplified. And this one in particular is very nice, because since we are being so pushy with this playstyle, we're going to be critically wounded really often, so anytime we're in any close quarter fights, everyone around us is going to become jolted, meaning we're going to get a bunch of chain damage and have a lot better chance of getting more kills. And moving on to our third fragment, we have Spark of Ions. Defeating a jolted target will create Onyx Trace. Onyx Traces are pretty nice because they just basically give you ability energy. So that, on top of our Traveler's Chosen and Armor Mods, is going to be super huge for us, because we have so many different 
different ways of obtaining our ability energy back, allowing a lot more of our fights to be successful. And then lastly, for the fragments, we have Spark of Shock. We have greatly increased resilience, recovery, and mobility while sprinting. And since this is an arc build, we're going to be sprinting a lot because that's what happens when we become amplified. It makes us faster. We want to be pushy. So this is a perfect fragment to have. It buffs your stats pretty greatly too. More specifically, plus 20 mobility, resilience, and recovery. So pretty decent for sure. And then the last part of our subclass is our super. I personally like to use Gathering Storm just because like, you can easily get it off, get a couple kills, and then you're done. Arc Staff, I don't really like personally in more competitive situations just because people can get around it. But at the end of the day, it's really just personal preference. So just use whichever one you're more comfortable with. But yeah, here's the build. Feel free to pause the video and copy it yourself. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave a comment below. I'm always happy to respond. And then for your stats, I know mine are pretty bad. I wish I had a lot more discipline, but you definitely want high mobility, recovery, and discipline. Honestly, you could do discipline over recovery, but it's really up to you and what all kind of armor you got. So just pick between that. And then here's a little overview of my mods. You can take a screenshot of this as well. Really just targeting mods, unflinching mods, dexterity mods, fastball, impact induction, some ability cooldown mods, and reaper. And then for the artifact mods, sadly there's really nothing for arc this season, so don't really gotta worry about that. But yeah, that's all for the build. Of course, the dim link will be below, but now, let's hop into some gameplay. Alright, let's go. See this guy right here. Got his ass. Got here, got my melee back. Got his ass. Ah, all good. Nice. Ah. Come to me, bruh. Damn, you just killed my ass. Shoulder charge me or something. Shit, that hurt. Whoop. I'm gonna jump up and shotgun this guy. Actually. Got him. I have my super. I got my super. I kind of want to use it. I don't know where. And we'll, let's flank left and throw a super first person we see after we kill this guy. Fucking missed that, bruh. Guy actually is lost. I'm gonna go B. He's gonna pop this now. go oh shit oh my guy dodged it this is such a bad situation bro oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna save this. Just because my ability is about to be back, anyways. Got him. Nice. Woo! Steal some of this. Sorry, bro. Amplified. Guys lost. Ah, <laughs> wasn't a bad game. Now let's switch to the grenade launcher. Give that some love. All right, same map. Got the grenade launcher this time. Let's run it back. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I saw the I just saw the AFK guy in the corner of my eye. I just ignored his ass. Heavy ammo right here. Mind if I do. Special? YOLO. <laughs> Got his ass. You have oh, I ran out of bullets, we got him though. Redlings, ah. Uh... Oh, we're loaded with that ability energy. Uh... I tried pre firing. Still got his ass, though. Honestly, don't know how they didn't kill the other guy too. <laughs> That's super, almost sketchy. Got his ass. Let's grab this real quick. Six stacks. Oh yeah, look at that ability. Straight back. I'm gonna throw it right here. Ah, oh, yeah, he fucking. All right, you're so good, man. <laughs> Not push that. My sidearm. Ah, tried. Adam. Where's all the special at? Refire? Oh, he didn't come in yet. Let's get him. There's another one. Okay, we got him. Oh, he got it. Damn. Mm. Gotta reload, though. Come off A at least. Woo! Uh, we're about to lose. No, Ugh, it's close. GG's, GG's. And Lula's opponent's defeated, though. But yeah, guys and gals, that's all I have from my build today. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and decided to try out this build yourself. You can really use any combo with the Traveler's Chosen, and this build is just super fun. Wormhouse Crown, all the aspects, fragments, and abilities work really well together, and I just had a blast using this, and I hope you decided to use it as well. Until next time, my name's Epoxy. Peace.